It's expected that around 2050 we are nearly 10 billion people. Most of the people will live in cities, so there's a high demand on solutions how to feed the population. Due to over exploitation and degradation of nature, we are reducing our biological resources. We have a big footprint on our planet. Shortage in food supply, shortage in raw materials. Constant accumulation of non-renewable waste. And the question is, how can we keep our standard of living without exploiting the resources? We have two focuses in our study course. One is the scientific part, where students work in labs, where they get a feeling about the biological resources itself. We teach the students all the engineering aspects they might need, simulation techniques, evaluation techniques. And on the other side, they learn how to apply this knowledge in the business economy. What an innovation is, for example, how to implement these ideas, this knowledge, into new products. They learn how to find and evaluate the resources. How to utilize ecosystem services that are offered appropriately, as well as in a sustainable manner. They might find new or underutilized resources. How biological resources are processed into a final product alternative uh, option to protect our resources like using biopolymer, bioplastic and uh, biofuel. Every semester the students should work on a separate or unique applied research project that we offer or sometimes the students even suggest the topics. The spectrum again is, is quite broad and when they choose their applied research project they already decided one way or the other. They more want to go into a general application or they want to work scientifically. The master thesis could be related to the research project and of course, if you have any kind of connection to companies, it might not be unlikely that some questions coming from the industry or from the economy result in a motivation to a master thesis. So our students, they have the ability after they have their master to further follow their scientific career, for example, in a PhD program or to work in the research and development department at dedicated companies. They also well uh, suited for the position as a project manager in the industry. They could work as an internal or external consultant or in organizations like NGOs and other non-profit organizations which focus on biological resources and the broader field. We have students from horticulture, we have a biotechnologist, we have students from sustainable agriculture, we even have students from economy, also engineers could enter that program. Everyone has different ideas, different perceptions, which makes the discussion in lectures much more interesting. So the study course comprises a mixture of different learning environments. We have lectures, classical lectures. The students work with new software in modern computer rooms. We have courses that target work in the lab, tropical greenhouse here at the university. We do excursions heavily, but also a lot of projects where students work in groups and work out project topics or business plans. In some courses, the students go out to work on the field or work together with companies or with big corporations on projects or on their master's thesis in the end. So students who have a high passion about how to address future topics of the society, they are the right people or the right students that are highly welcome to our study course.